Who are you going to move? Boo boo. You're not going to move, are you? Hello everyone and welcome to Scanning Spider. Today's pattern is going to be for a chunky caterpillar. So if you'd like to make your own, grab your hooks and let's get started. You got anything to add, Boo? No? Okay. To make a caterpillar, you're going to need a 3.5mm hook, 8 ply yarn in two colours of your choice, as well as scissors, stitch markers, a needle, pins, stuffing and a pair of 16mm safety eyes. The first piece that we're going to make is the body and we're going to begin that by putting six single crochet in a magic circle. Two, three, four, five, and number six. And then we're going to close that up. For round two, we're going to put one single crochet in the first stitch. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do an increase. And an increase is just two single crochet in the same stitch. So I'm going into the stitch and I'm doing one single crochet, going back into the stitch and doing a second. And we're just going to repeat what we've just done twice more. One single crochet, one increase. So that means we've done it for a total of three times. One and increase and then one more and another increase and all up that should give us nine stitches at the end of our round for round three we're going to do two single crochet followed by an increase three times Round four is three single crochet and then an increase repeated three times. For round five, we're going to start off with four single crochet. One stitch marker back in. Two, three, and four and then after this four single crochet we're going to do seven half double crochet to do a half double crochet you're going to yarn over first then go into your stitch you're going to yarn over and pull back through the stitch and at this point you should have three loops on your hook you're going to yarn over for a final time and then pull through all three of those loops that's our first half double crochet and i'll just go through that again we're going to yarn over Go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Now that we've done two half double crochet, we need to do five more to give us our total of seven. And then after that seventh half double crochet, we should have four stitches left in our round and we're just going to single crochet into all of those. Two three and four after round five we should still have 15 single crochet in our round and in round six we're going to decrease we're going to do three single crochet one decrease repeated three times we'll just begin with the three single crochet two and three and then we're going to do an invisible decrease. To do that, we're going to go under the front loops of the next two stitches. And the front loop is the part of the stitch that is closest to you, this front part here. We're going to go under the front loop of the first stitch, under the front loop of the second stitch. You're going to yarn over, pull through both of those front loops. So you have two loops on your hook. Then we're just going to yarn over and pull through those two loops. And that's how you do an invisible decrease. We're going to repeat that pattern of three single crochet, one decrease, twice more.
Round seven is going to be worked entirely into the front loop. And again, the front loop is the part of the stitch that's closest to us. And we're going to do one single crochet, one increase repeated six times in the front loop only. For round eight, we're going to start with one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do an increase. After that, we're going to repeat two single crochet, one increase five times. And then we're going to finish the round with one single crochet. Round nine is three single crochet and an increase repeated three times. For round 10, we're going to do some half double crochets again. We're going to start off with eight single crochet. Then we're going to follow this with 14 half double crochet and then finish our round with another eight single crochet. Round 11 is three single crochet and a decrease repeated six times. Round 12 is worked in the front loop only again, and we're going to do one single crochet, one increase repeated 12 times. And again, we're doing that in the front loop only. After round 12, you should now have 36 stitches in your round, and then round 13 is just going to be 36 single crochet. In round 14 is where we're going to crochet the first set of legs and the legs will look like this. We're going to be using a popcorn stitch, but what I'm going to be doing for this caterpillar that I'm making now is to do the legs in a different color because I think it just needs a little pop of color just to add something to the caterpillar body. But what you can do if you would rather is do what I've done in my prototype here and just crochet the entire body in one color but I am going to be swapping colors. So what we're going to do is start off round 14 with three single crochet. One. And two. Now, if you are sticking with the same body color for the entire thing, you can just continue on from this point. But if you're going to be doing the legs in a different color like I am, you're going to swap color on the third single crochet. We've done our first two. I'm going to do my second, no, my third. This is number three. We're going to go into the third stitch, yarn over and pull through so we have two loops on our hook. But at this point, instead of finishing in the body color, which is my pale orange here, you're going to bring in the color that you want to do the leg in. So I'm using this dark pink and I'm just going to line that up behind my hook. And then I'm going to yarn over in my new color and pull through the two loops on my hook. In the next stitch, we're going to do a popcorn stitch. And for a popcorn stitch, we need to do five double crochet in the same stitch to begin. To do a double crochet, you're going to yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over and pull through. And at this point, we should have three loops on our hook. You're going to yarn over again and only pull through the first two, one, and then two. This will leave you with two loops on your hook, yarn over again, and pull through those two loops. That's how you do a double crochet. I'm also going to be working over these two ends to secure them. That is the first double crochet, and we need to do four more so we have five in total. Again, we're going to yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through. We have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, two. We have two loops left on our hook now. We're going to yarn over for a final time and pull through both of those. And we need to repeat this three more times now. 
So double crochet, fourth double crochet. Now with the fifth double crochet, because I'm going to be swapping back to my original color, I'm going to do that on my last one. So we need to yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through. So we have those three loops on our hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through the first two loops. However, when we've got two loops left here, so we're about to do our final yarn over and pull through, it's at this point in the double crochet that we're going to bring in our original body color. So I'm going to finish my double crochet in this pale orange. I'm going to yarn over and pull through the final two loops. And that is how we're going to change color for our popcorn stitch. However, to finish the popcorn stitch, we've got a couple of steps to go. First, you're going to pull up with your crochet hook so your final loop becomes quite large and you want to make sure this remains sticking out. You don't want to accidentally pull it through because we're going to need that in a moment. You're going to go back to the first double crochet that you did. If you use the same color and you're a bit confused as to which one that is, you can count back from your last one. So five, four, three, two, and one. But because I changed color, it's a little bit easier for me. You're going to insert your hook into the first double crochet under the front and back loops. And you want to push your hook in from the right sides of your stitches to the wrong sides of your stitches. So from the front here, out to the back. You're then going to grab this large loop that we've just left and you're going to place that on the head of your hook. And when that's on the hook, you're then going to tighten it. So I'm going to pull on my yarn so that it tightens up against the head of the hook here. You're going to pull that loop that we've just tightened through the first double crochet as if you were doing a slip stitch. And then the very last step to create our popcorn stitch is to chain one. And it's important that you remember to chain one because we're going to need this chain to work into in the next round. When you've done that first popcorn stitch, we're then going to do five single crochet. The next stitch that we need to work into may be covered by your popcorn stitch. So you're just going to nudge that aside gently. So you can see here that it's almost covering my stitch and that's where I need to work into the next free one. So I'm going to go from the top of my popcorn stitch down to the next stitch I need to work into and I'm going to single crochet and I'm also going to be single crocheting over my dark pink yarn because I'm going to carry that with me so I can change color in the next leg that we're going to do. So one, two, three, four, and five is my final stitch. And again, if you are doing your legs in a different color, we're going to change color now. So I've gone into the stitch where I need to do single crochet number five. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, drop my pale orange yarn or my body color yarn. And I'm going to pick up my other color, which is pink for me. I'm going to finish stitch number five or single crochet number five in that color. And then in the next stitch, I'm going to do another popcorn stitch. Once again, begin by doing five double crochet. One, two, three, four. And then in number five, I'm going to change colors again. I'm going to start my fifth double crochet by yarning over. I'm going to go back into the stitch, yarn over, pull through. So I have three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. This will leave me with two loops on my hook. And it's at this point that I'm going to drop my pink, pick up my orange and finish in that. Like we did before, we're just going to pull up with our hook. So we leave a nice large loop here, insert our hooks into the first double crochet from the right sides of our stitches to the wrong sides of our stitches. Place that large loop on the head of your hook and then tighten that up. Pull it through the first double crochet like we're doing a slip stitch and then chain one. What I'm going to do at this point is just cut my dark pink yarn because I'm going to bring that back in later when I do the next set of legs. But I want to leave a tail that's long enough that you can weave it in to secure it or do what I'm going to do and just work over it. To finish off round 14, we're going to do 26 single crochet. That's the number of stitches we have left. 
And once again, if you need to, to see which stitch you need to work into next, just nudge your popcorn stitch aside so you can see the next free stitch. Round 15 is going to be 36 single crochet. However, the first few stitches uh, can be a little bit confusing if you've never done this before. So we're going to go through those together. We're going to start off by doing three. One. Two. And three, because we did three in round 14 before we did our popcorn stitch. And then after that third single crochet, what you then need to do is work into the chain we did at the end of our popcorn stitch. After we did those five double crochet, we then made the big loop, put that on our hook, pulled it through, and then we chained one. It's this chain one that we're going to work into now. So we've got one, two, three. Stitch number four is going to go into that chain space. Four. We're then going to do five single crochet because again in round 14 we had five single crochet between each popcorn stitch. And five. After that fifth single crochet, we're then going to work into the chain from the second popcorn stitch. So that is there. After this, we're just going to continue single crocheting for the rest of the round and all up, so including the single crochet we've just done and the rest of the stitches we still need to do, that should still be 36 stitches in total. Round 16 is going to be one single crochet, one decrease, repeated 12 times. After round 16, I'm just going to secure my end and then I'm going to start adding some stuffing. I'm going to stuff the first two sections that we've done, so not the section where we've got the popcorn stitch feet. And when you begin stuffing, what you want to do is just make sure that you retain the piece's shape. So the larger sections we've done here, they've got a curve to them because we start with an increase and end with a decrease, so they curve. And we want to maintain that shape as we stuff. So you don't want to overstuff and you also don't want to understuff. When you've finished adding that first bit of stuffing, we're just going to reinsert our hooks and continue on with round 17. Round 17 is worked entirely into the front loop and we're going to do one single crochet, one increase repeated 12 times. Round 18 is just 36 single crochet. In round 19, we're going to make some more popcorn stitch legs. This time we're going to begin with two single crochet. One. And two, and because I'm changing color for my legs, I'm going to do so here. Bring that back in. And I'm going to finish the second single crochet in that. In the next stitch, we're going to do our popcorn stitch. And that begins with five double crochet. And on the, whoops, didn't do that very well. And on the fifth double crochet, I'm going to swap colors back to my original orange. Insert my hook into double crochet number one, pull that through and then chain one. I am then going to do eight single crochet Make sure you're working into the next free stitch. Move your popcorn stitch aside if you need to. And on eight, I'm changing color again. 
In the next stitch, we're going to do a popcorn stitch. Begin with those five double crochet, one, and five, and I'm changing color here again. Chain one, and I'm just going to cut my pink yarn. And I'm going to work over this pink end as well. And we're going to finish off round 19 with 24 single crochet. Round 20 is 36 single crochet. And like we did in the previous section where we did the first legs, as you work around, make sure that you're working into the chain one that we did at the end of each popcorn stitch. And then round 21 is going to be one single crochet, one decrease, repeated 12 times. When you finish round 21, what we're then going to do is repeat rounds 17 through to 21 to create additional sections. So round 17 is here, 21 is here. So we're just going to be repeating this section over and over again. I'm only going to be doing this one more time, but you can do this as many times as you like. So I'm going to begin round 22, which is again, the same as round 17, which is working in the front loop only. We're going to do one single crochet, one increase repeated 12 times. And after that, just keep repeating rounds 17 through to 21 as many times as you want. When you've finished your final round, whichever number that is for you, that's going to change depending on how many extra segments you did. We're then going to add a little bit of stuffing. And you don't need to stuff this all the way to the top because we will add a little bit more after we attach the, or most of the body to the head. And then when that's in, we're just going to do one more final round. Now the exact round number of this round is again going to depend on how many extra segments you did. So in the written pattern down below, I'm just going to call this round X. So X is going to represent whatever number round you're up to. All we're going to do is two single crochet, one decrease repeated six times because at the end of whatever round we did, because we were still following that pattern from rounds 17 through to 21, we should have always ended up with 24 single crochet in the last round of the segment. So in round 21, we would have had 24 single crochet in this last round here, which was the last round of the segment, I had 24 single crochet. So our very final round of the body is just going to be two single crochet, one decrease repeated six times. When you finish that final round, we're just going to slip stitch to finish off. And you'll want to leave a longish tail for sewing. Next, we're going to crochet the head and I'm sticking with my orange color that I've been using and also using my 3.5 millimeter hook again. And round one is six single crochet in a magic circle. Round two is six increases. For round three, we're going to do three single crochet, then three increases repeated twice. Round four begins with one single crochet. We're going to follow this up with an increase and then repeat two single crochet, one increase five times and finish and then finish off the round with one single crochet. Mm -hmm. 
For round five, we're going to begin with four single crochet. Two, three, and four. And then we're going to do one single crochet, one increase repeated three times. One, then an increase. Two, and increase. And then three, and increase. After that third increase, we're then going to do six single crochet. And after the sixth single crochet, we're then going to repeat one single crochet, one increase, three times again. After that third increase, you should have two stitches remaining, and we're going to single crochet into both of those. And two. Round six is two single crochet and an increase, and then a repeat of four single crochet, one increase, done five times, and then finish off the round with two more single crochet. At the end of round six, we should have 36 stitches in our round, and then rounds seven through to 13 are each going to be 36 single crochet. For round 14, we're going to begin with 11 single crochet. After that, you're going to repeat two single crochet, one increase six times, and then finish the round with seven single crochet. Both rounds 15 and 16 are 42 single crochet. Round 17 is five single crochet and a decrease repeated six times. For round 18, we're going to do one single crochet, one decrease and repeat that 12 times. And the final round of the head, round 19, is going to be two single crochet, one decrease, repeated six times. And when you finish round 19, you're just going to leave a short tail that we can weave in in a moment. When you finish crocheting the head, we're just going to weave in this end, so grab your needle. And we're just going to weave this end through the backs of our stitches, so we're working inside the head. And then when that's done, we're going to add the safety eyes. So we're going to grab those. And first we need to position the head correctly. So in round, what was it, round 14, we did a pattern repeat of two single crochet, one increase. And that's where the jaw and cheeks were created. So if I tilt this on the side, you can see it curves out a little bit. That's going to be the front of the face. So you want that facing forward. And then we're going to place the safety eyes between rounds 11 and 12, about six stitches apart. We're going to start at round one and count out. One, two, three, four, 11 and 12. So I'm going to pop one there. And then we're going to count out six stitches. Six, and then in the seventh, I'm going to put my second eye. And then I'm just gonna make sure that that looks okay. Everything's still lined up. 
And if it is, pop the backs onto those. And then as a final touch, we're just going to add some stuffing. The last pieces that we need to crochet are going to be the antenna. So I've already done one and we're going to do the second one together. And we're going to start off with our secondary color. And again, I'm using my 3.5 millimeter hook. Round one in the secondary color is six single crochet in a magic circle. Round two is one single crochet, one increase repeated three times. Both rounds three and four are nine single crochet each, or if you would prefer, you can just do 18 single crochet consecutively. Round five is one decrease, one single crochet repeated three times. I haven't done my final single crochet of round five yet. Instead, what I'm going to do is secure my end and then just grab a tiny bit of stuffing and we're going to put that in the top of the antenna. Now you don't have to do this, but I just think it gives it a little bit more shape. So that's really all you need, just need a little bit. And then I'm going to reinsert my hook and do the last single crochet. But the reason I didn't do it beforehand is because we're going to be changing color. So we're going to change color the same way we did for the legs. You're going to go into the last stitch, yarn over, pull through so you have two loops on your hook. And then you're going to bring in your next color, which is going to be my orange yarn. And I'm really hoping I have enough because this is all I have left. So we're going to be playing yarn chicken today. We'll see how we go. I'm going to line that up behind the hook, yarn over, pull through in the new color. And I'm just going to snip this one. And then rounds six through to 11 in the new color are going to be six single crochet each. That is six rounds all up, so if you would prefer, you can just do 36 single crochet consecutively. And when you've finished, we're just going to slip stitch. Thankfully, I had just enough yarn, so I'm glad it worked out this time. It usually doesn't work out for me that well. <laughs> And then you're just going to pull up with your hook. And with that, we can begin putting our caterpillar together. So grab your needle. And the first thing we're going to do is attach the head and the body. With each piece, we finished with 18 single crochet. So all we're going to do is line these up and sew the stitches of the final round together one to one. So I left the tail on the body. So that's where I'm going to thread my needle. There we go. And I'm just going to line the head up. Make sure the legs and the eyes are roughly in line. And I'm going to see which stitch on the head this lines up to. And once you started, so we're going to go into stitch in the body, straight up into the stitch on the head. And you're just going to do that all the way around. However, I'm going to stop at about three quarters of the way around and add a little bit more stuffing to both the head and the body. And I'm just going to stop there and add my additional stuffing. Once that's all in, I'm just going to finish off. Then weave your tail end in through either the head or the body to hide it. And snip off the excess. 
And next, we're just going to sew the antenna to the top of the head. So for that, you'll want to grab your pins. And I'm just going to pin one antenna on either side of round one. But you can really place these wherever you like, just whatever you think looks best. And then when they're in place, we're just going to sew those on as well. And that's all the sewing that we need to do. But if you would like, you can add some details to the face, like some blushy cheeks and some white to give the eyes some detail. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do that with the cheeks. So you want to grab some yarn. I'm going to use this lighter pink color. And just thread that through your needle. Go into the head, somewhere on the head. It doesn't matter which stitch, just not where you're going to do your cheeks. And then what you want to do is go out of whichever stitch you're going to do your cheeks in. So I'm going to do that. I might do it down here. You're going to pull that yarn through but leave a tail hanging outside of the body. This just needs to be long enough that you can tie it off in a moment. Then you're going to go across, make your cheek as large as you like. So I might do what one, two, three, four stitches. And then I'm going to go across to the other side and do the other cheek. Pull on the yarn firmly so it lays nice and flat. And then I did one, two, three, four. And after I've done this second cheek, I'm going to push my needle out of the original stitch that I worked into, where my little tail end is still hanging. Oh, come on. There we go, out the same stitch. Once again, pull firmly so the yarn lays nice and flat against the head. And when that's done, you're just going to tie off these two ends together. Two, three knots, cut off any excess, and then you'll just want to push that knot back into the head. You can use your scissors, your needle, or you could grab a crochet hook and pull it in back through the head that way. And that's how you do the cheeks. And we're going to use the same method to do the white around the eyes. So this time you want to cut a length of white yarn. And we're just going to repeat the process, but changing the shape so we go around the eyes instead. And then that is all we have to do for our little caterpillar.